morning everyone and happy Thursday. Um, I don't know what was up with YouTube last night. I uploaded a video. It took 10 hours. Like how does that happen? I started the uploading and it said I had like 600 and some minutes, <coughs> excuse me, till it was going to be done. I don't get it. I don't get it. So anyway, this morning I'm off to Hellmart, I mean Walmart. Um, I, yeah. Close your mouth, Michelle. Um, I'm off to Walmart. Um, I need like some cleaning supplies and, and a few toiletries and that stuff. Unfortunately, the cheapest place to buy it is Hellmart. I mean Walmart. So that's where I'm headed this morning. So I will do a haul when I get back. So I have n had no breakfast, so I need to grab some breakfast. And this little thing still has to go out again. And I need to give myself a once-over here in the mirror to make sure, because I haven't looked at myself since I got dressed. It's like, oh, please don't let me have anything out of place. No, I think I'm good. Okay. All right, so breakfast, dog, and Walmart it is. A little Chick-fil-A waffle fries with some Polynesian sauce while I'm driving home from Walmart. Super good. You gotta love Chick fil A. Like, they're the best. And I'm all over the place with this camera. Okay, here's the Walmart haul. So I got a movie, Red 2. Obviously, I already have Red 1, or I wouldn't have bought Red 2, but very funny movies. I like them. These are some rocks to put in the bottom of that flower arrangement, which is part of Tia's wedding flowers. This giant martini glass is going to hold some butter mints that I ordered off of Amazon that have, um, they're individually wrapped, they have little gold wedding bands on them and say Mr. and Mrs. So this will sit next to the guest book area filled with butter mints. And then I got two things of lettuce. Everything's already washed ready to eat. This is a romaine and this is a green leaf lettuce a box of yellow rice, a bottle of ketchup, now this is generic ketchup which we don't normally eat, but I'm going to be making a triple batch of my homemade baked beans for my husband's work for the guys to eat in there, so I just use the cheaper ketchup to make those. I got some almond butter, an avocado, some light whole grain English muffins, about the vermicelli, some Ford Hook lima beans, six, six containers of yogurt, a box of honey almond granola that my husband likes mixed in with his oatmeal, some ranch dressing mix that I use for cooking, a pineapple. The protein shakes back here. I got four strawberry and eight vanilla, and you'll see one is missing. My husband says I'm feeding him too much. He says he's bloated and he has indigestion issues, which I get up in the morning and make him a breakfast, and then for lunch he normally takes a full meal of like leftovers um, that I've made for dinner one night. And then of course he comes home every night and I always have a big meal. So he says he's getting tired of the three heavy meals a day. So he wanted to try just drinking a shake at lunch and maybe a protein bar. So that's what all those protein shakes are four, and I stopped when I left Walmart where he works and dropped him off one of the shakes a while because I didn't spend lunch with him today because he says he's bloated. So we're going to try this. Hopefully just drinking a shake and eating a protein bar will hold him then till 5.30 at night when he gets home, but he always has snacks there too, so it's not like he's going to starve to death, but that's what all those shakes are for. Okay, bottle of bleach a box of gallon sized tea bags for iced tea, coffee cream for my husband, the Italian sweet cream flavor, hairspray for me, all the beans are for my baked beans, so it's six cans of pork and beans, three cans of kidney beans, three cans of butter beans, two boxes of protein bars for my husband, these are the 20 grams of protein bars, Cliff also makes ones that don't have quite as much protein and they're also a little cheaper. So this is a vanilla almond and a crunchy peanut butter. Some Doan's 
back pills because he's still having back issues even with the massages. And then I think the last thing is some concealer for me for my under eye circles and puffiness and all that hoo-ha. So supposedly you get 10 beauty benefits in one. Yeah, we'll see if this is some kind of a miracle cosmetic. But um, this brand, Hard Candy, um, I've been doing my research um, with watching some YouTube videos of other beauty consultants, also doing my own research online. Hard Candy is a company that does not test on animals. So if animal cruelty in the cosmetics industry is important to you, a lot of your bigger brand names are very, very bad with that. Hard Candy does not test on animals, so great company to support. And their stuff is good. I've used their mascara before. I like it, so I'm just going to start buying more of theirs and slowly phasing out all of the others. So that's it for my Walmart haul. And there's the dog. And now it's time to put everything away. Are you cute? Yes, you're cute. Yes, you're the most adorable dog in the world. Yes. yes. Easy peasy dinner tonight, leftovers. There's Mike's plate. Whoops. Got to make mine yet. Leaving the little boys getting chicken and gravy with his dog food. Are you starving? Are you starving? It's a hungry little pumpkin. Moved one of my big house plants outside. I've been doing it every year since I've got it. All right, that wraps it up for today. Um, Mike's in bed. I'm just sitting here relaxing, dealing with a hot flash that just it's like not super bad, but it's just not going away. Um, uh, I just am so not looking forward to this whole hot flash thingy. Again, I had this two, like, I had it for two years after my initial hysterectomy, and I thought I wouldn't have to deal with it anymore. Well, I'm dealing with it again, and it sucks. So, I'm just going to sit here and put a fan on me and try to survive, <laughs> and then I'm going to bed. So, have a great weekend, everyone.